Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equations actually. But here we have different basics and uh, the same power at the left hand side. We are given 4 power of t multiplied by 5 power t multiplied by t. This is different base and it is a variable. Then raised to power of t equals square root of 10. I want to find the value of t that satisfies this. When we consider the solution from here, let's apply the rule of indices. We have different bases and we have same power. It means we are going to multiply all the bases together and take just one power of this. Here becomes 4 multiplied by 5 multiplied by t. Then all raised to the power of t equals the square root 10. So by multiplying 4 with 5, we have that one as 20, then multiply by t. All raised to the power of t equals the square root of 10. And after getting this, the square root of 10 here is just like 10 raised to the power of 1 over 2 because this is half. So by writing this, we have 20t to the power of t equals 10 raised to the power of 1 over 2. So in the next step here is, we have this as 20 here. Let's raise both sides of this equation by this coefficient of t in the bracket, which is 20. We have 20t raised to the power of t, then all raised to the power of 20 equals 10 raised to the power of 1 over 2, then raised to the power of 20. So the next step here is, if you have a particular rule like this, we have power and power. By rule of exponent, we are going to multiply t with 20 and we have 20t. Here becomes 20t, then all raised to the power of 20t. This equals, so 2 here we have it as 1, then 2 in 20 that is 10. We have 10 raised to the power of 10. And at this point, when we try to apply the Lambert W functions, we have as many as complex solutions. I mean the complex roots. But let's try and obtain the, the real root. To obtain the root, real root here, we just try and compare the base of this and the power of this. So since the two of them are equal, we are now going to have 20t equals 10 and by dividing both sides by 20 we have 20 cancelled 20 here so as for the value of t here equals 1 over 2 so 0 cancel 0 and 1 over 2 is the value of t that satisfies this problem so we can just try and verify by substituting the value of t here, which is 1 over 2, into the given problem, and we get the answers. Thanks for watching, and if you have another method of solving this different from what I did here, so we can just drop the answer in the comment box so that we can learn together. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.